Today's news headlines, two men were charged with murder following a physical altercation. Two men were on Tuesday, March 22nd, arrested and charged with murder following the passing of 45-year-old Kurt Nemard, who they got into an argument with. This led to a physical altercation. Charged are 37-year-old Brown, also called Pops, and 26-year-old Jones, also called CJ. Both are fishermen of Salt Gully, Hulabo, in St. Catherine. Reports are that close to 7.30 a.m., Brown and Jones, along with Mr. Nemard, were involved in a disagreement when Brown threw several stones at Nemard's house. It is alleged that Nemard then pounced on both men with a machete and chopped Brown in the forehead. Brown then reportedly held on to Nemard while Jones inflicted several wounds all over his body. The police were summoned and Nemard was transported to the hospital where it was pronounced by the medical team. During the investigation, a statement was obtained from an eyewitness and an interview was done in the presence of the men's attorney. Both Mr. Brown and Mr. Jones were subsequently charged. Their court dates are being finalized by the police team. the news four persons lost their lives in the parish of st james according to the minister of national security the area had been relatively quiet prior to that on saturday morning the police were called to investigate the shellings incident that took the life of 22 year old damian minto also called copper 25 year old lenwar martin also called akim and delano spencer Minto, who works at a funeral home, and Martin, who works at a wholesale, are from the Warwick community, while Spence is said to be from a nearby community in the vicinity. The triple loss of life came sharply on the heels of that of a 17-year-old Davante Lindo, who was shot and killed close to 9.15 p.m. on Friday night in a section of the Norwood community referred to as Cherry Gardens. It is uncertain if both incidents are related. According to the Minister of National Security, they are not sure, but it appears to be an incident in relation a retaliation by his friends and family on the community, which was not aware of any involvement in any kind of activities at all. Reports are that close to 9.45 a.m., several armed men entered into Worker Drive community on foot and started shellings in the process hitting a number of persons. Eight of them were shot and the three men later passed away at the hospital where the youth and four others had been admitted. Another youth has mentioned that they were also hurt during the shellings incident which flew through her living room window as she was preparing to go to church. It is believed that one of the three men who passed away was one of the men that carried out the incident and was hit by his cronies. There was one person who was shot and killed, and allegedly he was one of the attackers. So it is clear where this is coming from, and the investigative nodes so far are pointing us in the right direction. The police have said that 50 spent shells were later recovered by them from the scene. The minister has also expressed confidence that the individuals who carried out this incident will be caught soon. The police have good information from intelligence activity and they expect them to apprehend these dangerous individuals very quickly. 
There are clear indications on where they came from and who they are. It was further stated that one of the young men is a student at a school and was very intelligent. And share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.